V-Ray Fast Render Settings The eternal question What's the best V-Ray Fast Render Settings to use in my projects? Well, the simple answer is There is no such thing Wait, wait, don't leave I have a better answer for you How about how to adjust the V-Ray Settings in order to get the fastest render time for your projects? If that's what you are looking for Then this video is for you Only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you enjoyed watching my videos, consider subscribing. You can always change your mind. Alright, let's dive into the video. Sometimes we overset our settings to get better results. When we can get the same results with suitable settings. I have rendered this scene and the result is pretty cool. But this scene took roughly 50 minutes to finish the render. So my goal here is to reduce the time render as much as I can as well as keeping the quality of the render and try to make it better so let's go to the render settings the two main things that we should look at is the global illumination and the image sampler first let's talk about the global illumination from the global illumination you can get to choose the primary engine and the secondary engine for your render I use Iridiance map for the primary engine because it's much efficient for the final render you can choose brute force but it will take so much time for me, I usually use brute force for the test render settings before the final render because it will give me a result immediately. And also if I want to use the light mix element, I use it as well. So I'll leave it just like this. And the secondary engine is on light cache. When you start the render, first thing you'll see in the timeline render is building light cache, which is this parameter. As long as you increase the subdivs, the building light cache timeline will be much longer. But in my case, 1000 is quite enough and I don't want to change it. But if you see the building light cache timeline is stuck, that's due to two things. One is your computer cache memory is full, you just need to clear it and start the render again. Two is you have so much group in the scene, you just need to reduce the amount of groups in your scene. Select the big polycount group, attach the group components together to convert it to an object and that will surely fix the problem. Convert group into one object is one of my 7 tips to reduce the render time and speed up the workflow. I'll leave a link to this video in the description box. Next, go to Iridian's map, put the current preset into low. The current preset will determine how much pre-passes do you want to go over the render. From minus 3 to minus 2, it means it's gonna be 2 pre-passes. It's much deeper than that, but I don't want to confuse you, I just leave it like that. I'll talk about that in a separate video. So we are done here, let's go to V-Ray panel. From the image sampler type, I choose bucket. And from the bucket image sampler, I'll change the max subdivisions value to 6. And this is the game changing parameter for the fast render. As long as you increase it, the time render will be much longer. And vice versa. And from the noise threshold, I'll change its value from 0.005 to 0.01. Noise threshold parameter controls the noise in the scene. The lower value, the less noise. But in my case, I increased its value. And that obviously will make noise in my scene. So in order to fix the noise issue, go to render elements and add the V-Ray denoiser element. From the denoiser engine, you can choose whether you want to be denoising using default V-Ray denoiser or Nvidia denoiser. I'll use Nvidia denoiser. So I'll just render it and see the results. Finally, the render has finished and it's very good from the first glance. I didn't see its render time yet, but let's find out. The render has finished in 12 minutes which means it's 4 times faster than the previous one without even using the denoiser result that is all for today's video comment below if you have any question like, subscribe and share